quick wrap up is that you had a problem with a, a co-worker and it's not exactly the problem per se it is how you reacted that made you feel more so yeah. right like kind of like sure. is that the topic yeah. here so like i said you know reaction is not how we are judged by like i use cosmic law mm -hmm. everywhere you go you use law and then you balance it with what is morally fair it's called resoluteness that's mm -hmm. what i use as my code generally to come back this is the i Ching symbol called resoluteness okay. in meditation it was given to me and it means balance justice which should be severe with fairness that's all okay resoluteness so i call it mission resoluteness mm -hmm. so once you understand that what is law in united states is bad behavior is not punishable mm -hmm. know that because i have an office staff who is extremely rude in my opinion but rudeness is based on my value of how i place myself mm -hmm. if in case you have never been taught how to be correct how can you be rude so i'm like learning from this girl which who sits up in the front that she's very non-challenged and insulting but she doesn't even understand it's non-challenged and in the, uh, yeah. insulting because she that's her awareness yeah. so i'm going upping my situation to administrator so the administrator girl comes in and i'm assuming she's like you know going to problem solve better and guess what she says to me she patronizes both of us so she says to so now that she said that are you going to send the script over? so she's controlling the situation yeah. that again shows total disregard for everybody's faith so one thing what i when i problem solve is the i use something called comprehensive validation mm -hmm. therapy people can call you names and stuff but what you need to do is the core thing is like, you know, this happened in my, like my husband is in recovery for 25 years. That's how I learned about how to talk back in a way that will, that will come across as I heard what he said, but I'm not hanging up on the um, part that is insulting me because that digresses from what I, I can teach him later, but at crisis, yeah. you don't address the, the sure. character, yeah. you know, because that's not what people base it on. But there is a situation. So when my husband says, you're ignorant, you're ignorant. So I will always say, did you mean I needed to learn more about the situation? So you kind of like teach them new vocabulary. So the way I can go back to it is they have a very small dictionary. In their dictionary, it's filled with only maybe four or five words. F word, C word, yeah. B word, or whatever yeah. it is, you know. So yours is encyclopedia. Right, so like you need to open up a bigger book, <laughs> and then they also need it. to, you know, you can open that bigger book if you know that person's not going to comprehend what you're saying. Like, yeah, understand. no, but the comprehension is not what we need to do. We need to validate. See, that's yeah. why I'm saying you don't even need to teach them anything. So what you need to do is, hey, it looks like you're upset about something. So what is it exactly you're upset about? So like how you said you decided in your mind, I'm not going to help her, right? that you should say it in a way hey i choose to help only people who are nice to me mm -hmm. you know see that's bottom line sure. right yeah. so what in the end is you did do what you wanted to do but you act, got activated see you need to come across very cool mm -hmm. right like it's not about her it's yeah. you have a standard you choose not to be spoken to that way if they raise their tone either you need to hear them say i'm sorry and then ask for a favor or what it is that you haven't met in their expectation so explain to me so you can do better so like when you take control of the situation in a very nice way you teach them indirectly how to behave see essentially we can only teach by showing up an example so if they want us when you want that's why it upset you because when you call their name you couldn't bear it because you kind of mirrored her behavior yeah so instead you should mirror what is the true value hold inside because that's what upsets us it's not about you know the interesting thing about the world is it's not the other person that creates turbulence in us it's us oh, that it, I know. if i fail me that's really very hard for me to forgive than anybody else i don't care what everybody else thinks of me 
but what I think of me is very, very important. So I can do better next time. So even though it doesn't make sense to you, I'm going to give you as an example. Go apologize to her, but not for her, for you. So say, uh, so there is a German way I'm apologizing, okay? Germany does a different way of things. I'm going to learn that word. It says, you're not saying I'm sorry. You're not saying I'm, so, I'm apologizing. You need to say, I suffer knowing I caused you pain. Wow. So that is too removed, right? Like you did, like that word you uttered is for you. And even that one minute you can tolerate. So you are so beautiful inside, I can see, right? So when you say it this way, it will make her pause. What? What did you say? <laughs> so what I'm saying is, imagine that becoming your apology constantly. So your apology should be, I suffer knowing I caused you pain. And that doesn't mean you said you're sorry. That doesn't mean you're apologizing. You're just saying, I will do better next time to yourself. So essentially, you're saying that to yourself, but she's a witness to what you need to do. Okay? okay so see sense. how it works, because I think well. it will work. That's what I'm doing nowadays. <laughs> because I feel it's not about others. The whole world is not about anybody except us. We need to mirror the highest. And that's why actually in my Positive Anonymous, only four value I have. Stephen Covey says, you need to create a legacy when you leave the world. They have to think about you as a legacy. So for that, you need to develop a mission statement, vision statement. So I kept it very simple. My mission statement is resoluteness. Because once you don't break the law, you're fine. Mm -hmm. So you need to follow the law. And I went and told the CEO of our company, this girl is very difficult to work with. And you know what she said to me? By law, she's not required to be nice. So I said, yeah. really? So then why I am being nice? Because <laughs> that's your law. That's right. You are. See, that's because it's my value. By that's law, right. it's not required. By fairness, yes. I am above that level. So I end it. Like, you know, what I'm saying is, so you can even quote, hey, by law, I don't need to cover your shit. Like, you know, what I'm saying is like, yeah. like, uh, like say it in a way that makes sense to you, mm -hmm. you know, and always pull the law first. Law card comes first. Mm -hmm. And then goal. Stabilize family because my goal is to be accountable as a mother, father, and that's the same thing I expect of my patients to show up as a good mom or dad to their children. And I'm watching out for the kids who cannot speak. Okay, my value is 12 step because in America it's not about religion, it's 12 step. And I feel mm, me, the month is about moral inventory. Mm -hmm. You know, you admit it to yourself to another be uh, human being, the exact nature, which you kind of said to me. You know what bothered you, and we had like an agreement. Mm -hmm. I suffer knowing I was cause of this pain, so that doesn't mean you're taking accountability for that. You're just saying I reacted, I will do better next time. But that's to you, you're creating the contract, yeah. And she doesn't need to know, never ever explain to her that that we create another fight. Mm -hmm. Project is spiritual mirror because when you mirror something, we create mirror neurons like monkey. The more better you behave, you will create a change in your system. Because the only way to change the society is by shifting their thinking. So think of it as you're playing Chinese checker. Mm -hmm. The Chinese checker, the marble go from one place to the other side. Have you played Chinese yes. checker? Yeah. So your move, if you're stuck in one place, is jump. Mm -hmm. So you do three jump. <laughs> yeah. Okay, ten move. So <laughs> this was last time. Uh, yeah. So I think by doing this, you will be very happy. See, the only person you need to be happy is your mood. When your mood is stable, people, the best revenge for people who make you feel upset is for you to be happy. Seriously, like, you know, people cannot tolerate you being happy in spite of the means of things. Yeah. So you'll be way ahead.